it's Martha. I have some picture books today for the, let's say, three to six-year-old age. These are all books that are new at the library right now that I really like and I think you'll like too. The first one is Only the Cat Saw by Ashley Wolf. Wonderfully illustrated, very simple, gentle nighttime story about after the family goes to bed and the cat goes outside and wanders around and the cat sees things that the family doesn't know about. And um, here are what the, the wonderful illustrations are like. I really love it. Only the cat saw. The second one is My Happy Year by E. Bluebird. It's really by Paul Mizell, but it's about an Eastern bluebird a baby, and she tells in diary format the story of her first year of life. So when she's first um, hatched in the nest and um, all about her siblings and her family, wonderful illustrations and just little short diary entries for each day, a full year in the life of a bluebird. Quite wonderful. Lots of information too in the end notes about um, bluebirds and their habits. The next one is called 13 Stories About Harris. And Harris is a little guy about to go into preschool. His best friend is Ayana. And these are 13 very short adventures about Harris and his life. And some of the adventures are only one page long and others are a couple of pages long, but it's just sort of the life of a, of a young guy and his friend. Um, he does things like, ha it has wonderful chalk art uh, on his sidewalk and he goes to Ayana's birthday party, the first birthday party, and they start preschool together. So just very short little adventures about a little guy who's maybe three, three and a half years old, maybe four, just about to start preschool. The next one is called Even Superheroes Have a Bad Day. I'm sorry, Have Bad Days. And this is about how when superheroes have a bad day, what they do with their tempers. And so it's kind of about how to, how to channel your bad mood or your bad day into, into something that's not destructive. And so the superheroes have, you know, they could be really uh, causing some damage when they're angry but, um, or sad, but instead they figure out ways to just um, shout really loud or uh, do something that doesn't cause any damage but lets them get their feelings out. Fun illustrations. Even superheroes have bad days. The next one is called A New Kind of Wild. And this is about two kids who become friends and the little boy has grown up um, in a rural area near the rainforest um, with a beautiful setting surrounded by forest in a, in a little house and he has moved to the city and at first he can't understand the city because it's in the rainforest he was able to really use his imagination and think of just all these wild uh, dream-like um, adventures for himself and in the city all he sees is uh, sort of cars and houses and um, he has to learn how to use his imagination in the city and his new friend the little girl helps him do that a new kind of wild and so it's about how when you move to a new place nothing makes you feel at home like a new friend. The next one is Charlie and Mouse Outdoors. And these are short chapters, very short little stories about two brothers and their adventures. And this would also work, um, certainly a great read aloud, but it would also work as an easy reader because the text is really simple and the sentences are short and Charlie and Mouse's adventures are, are quite fun to read about. The next one is called Foja Singh Keeps Going. And this is about a real person, a real man in India. And when he was a little boy, up until he was about five years old, 
he had some kind of disability where he couldn't walk. I'm not sure what was wrong with him, but his legs were weak. And he, at first, people said, oh, he's never going to walk. And he gradually got stronger. And as he got stronger and stronger, he was able to do more things. And then much later in his life, when he was already quite elderly, he starts running. He decides to start running. And he starts running in races, in marathons. And a marathon race is 26 miles long. And this story is about how he ran a marathon when he was 100 years old. And this is a true story, pretty fun and exciting to read about somebody who's so determined and so uh, inspiring. And the last one I have is called The Altogether Quilt. This is a wonderful book about the art of quilt making and quilting. And quilting is when you take lots of pieces of fabric and sew them together and make a wonderful pattern. And this is about um, a community center where the um, seniors and children get together and they have this a fabulous quilt project that they work on together. And they're teamed up, they're in teams, and each team makes a panel for the quilt. And then afterwards, they have the task of sewing it all together. So this is a really great community story, but also it tells how to make a quilt, how to sew a quilt, and how to be a quilt maker. So I really enjoyed that. So those are the books that I brought to show you today. I hope some of those sound good to you, and if you, if you like them, please remember that you can request them and pick them up at the curbside service when the library has that. And I hope you're doing lots of reading and doing fine. And I hope to see you soon. Okay, bye.